guys. So in this video, I'm going to make the passenger base. So we're going to call it the passenger base. And let's go. So again, on your uh, 5.2B Audible Box drawing sheet, you will see the dimensions. So guys, the good thing about it is just one sketch. Now the sketch is kind of a doozy. So I'm going to start it on the front. I guess you can start anywhere really, but I'm going on the front just because. Here we go. So I'm going to start by creating the general rectangle that this is, but not that type of rectangle. I want a corner rectangle. Perfect. And then I'll dimension it according to the drawing. This bottom distance is 1.975. And the vertical distance is 1.59. I'm going to go ahead and put the sketch fillet corners in. So let's do these. And they are all 0.2 according to that dimension. So 0.2. All right. I've got my rectangle, so now the fun part begins. Ha! All right. Um, let's start. Let's start with the square. So I'm going to use the center point rectangle because in the dimension, do you see how you can actually see the center point of that rectangle? That kind of gives you a hint that that's what they were using to create this. So uh, I'm just going to slap it out there. Now that point exists, which is nice. Uh, and I'm going to dimension this as 0 0.580, and it is a square. We'll dimension both of them there. Uh, I'm going to set the distance from the edge here. It tells me is 0.2. That's nice. And then this little sliver here is 0.05. All right, black square. That's good to go. All the dimensions are satisfied. Let's go over here and do the circle. Um, I believe these are lined up. So I'm going to take this dotted line, follow it out, just so it already puts that constraint in there when I place it. And then I'm going to do dimension the circle. It is a diameter of 0.58. Now, why isn't it fully black yet? We lined up the center here, uh, which tells us that we're already 0.5 away here. What we haven't said is how far it is from the edge. So will it let us dimension from here to the edge of my circle? <gasps> it will. That's wonderful. Uh, and that's point two. Sweet. And now the circle's gone black. Good to go. Um, I'm going to move down to the triangle next. So there's a polygon tool right here. Uh, so I'm just going to, there's two options. Let's use the circumscribed one, the second one. Let's go with that one. And notice uh, the center of this triangle is not lined up with the center of the square so i don't want to line it up here don't want to do that i'm just going to create it off here in la la land uh so it starts off like wants to be a hexagon so just click bring it and then now by moving my mouse i can select the sides i'll click three and there it's placed um this left edge needs to be vertical so i'm gonna hit the vertical constraint here control or which is just v and then click on one of the sides make it vertical that's nice and then I'm just going to dimension these points, so like the distance from this tip to the edge. Oh, did not want me to do that. Dimension tip to the edge. Oh, it does. Okay. Uh, which is 0.2. And then we also want to dimension this side length. Probably should have done that first. It's 0.638, it says. And we need the distance from this point to the edge, which is also 0 0.05. So it looks like those distances are all Pretty much similar here, these 0.2s and 0.05s. All right, now the last one is the tricky one. This weird decagon. You might call it a star, but I'm a math person, so I'll call it a decagon. So what we have to do is we've got to look closely and see the dotted lines in that passenger base. You'll notice there's a dotted line circle, which means they use a construction circle. It's kind of like what was created here in this triangle. But we're also going to have, there's a pentagon in there, and that's what I'm actually going to use. So I'm going to grab this circumscribed polygon. Circumscribed means there's a circle around it. And since in the picture we can see that, we're going to use that type of polygon. We are going to line up the centers. See, can you look to the center is lined up here with this one on that orange dotted line and the center here. Or maybe not the center there. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say it's not lined up. I'm going to line it up later if it is. So see how those dot lines are? I don't want a dot line. So I'll just click out here. Click. Five sides is what I'm looking for. Great. I've got it. Now, in the dimension drawing, do you see how the pentagon is a dotted line? We can actually fix that really quick. Um, if I, I just hit escape, I'm going to highlight this and press Q on the keyboard, which hotkey is construction. When I click that, see how now everything's dotted? That's actually exactly what we want. 
Um, but I am going to horizontally constrain. So hit H to horizontal. I'm going to make this line horizontal because it is in my drawing sheet. So it kind of gets us that pentagon to be the right shape and orientation, but not the right size. So we do need to dimension some things. Uh, the distance from this tip here to this edge here, it says is also 0.05. Sound familiar? All right, cool. But then it also wants us the distance from this edge here to this edge here to be 0.2. All right, cool. So now the only thing we really haven't said is how big the circle is. That's an important key. If you look in the dimension, it's in parentheses, which I really don't like that it's in parentheses. Um, just because I mean it's driven, I like that. So let's make this 0.605, just like it says. And I believe that's going to make it large enough to be what we want. So there's another dimension in the picture. It says we should tell it how far it is from this point to this, but I think that's unnecessary because it's that distance. See, and see how it's shaded. So we actually don't need that because we already have that in place. It's actually all black, which is good. It means that everything's fully constrained, but we still haven't made the star or the decagon. So here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab the line tool, and I'm going to draw this line straight down. Because see on the picture, there's a, ver there's a vertical line there. And that distance is, mention it, is 0.187. And then I'm going to grab the line tool again, and I'm just going to connect that point to this vertice. So still all black. We're good because it was constrained to those points. Now, I need to do that over and over again. But as I want you guys to learn through the 3D modeling is you'd ever want to find yourself doing the same thing over and over again. There's probably a trick to make that easier. So since I need this little, these two little segments to appear, well, five more times, we're going to use the pattern tool. So let me show you how this works. I want this one and this one. So just click, click. They're highlighted orange. To be a circular pattern. So you get this drop down right here. And circular pattern is an option. So check this out. When I click it, whoa. What just happened? Well, this first box is the center around which I'm going to rotate this pattern circularly. So I'm going to drag that, and I actually want it, so click and hold. I actually want it to be around the center here. Great, fantastic. But we can kind of see what it's doing here. Um, if you notice, there's a 3x here. So we're going to click that, and I want it to be go around five times because there's five points on a pentagon. So. And now you can actually see, see the star there in blue. It's there. It exists. You should be able to just click off of it, and there it is. It patterned that around. I hit escape a couple of times just to kind of make sure I'm clear, but it did it. I just clicked away, and it did it five times like I told it to. You have the star. You have the dotted lines. It's good to go, guys. It's all black. We're fully constrained. Finish the sketch. Hit extrude. Click the main section. Hey, and according to the drawing sheet, this should go out 0.3. Fantastic. Then I'm going to rotate around to the back. Hit the shell tool. We've done that before. Shell this out. The shell, it says, is 0.01. Ooh, very nice. And last but not least, let's go over here to the part. Let's edit its appearance and call it green. There it is. There is the passenger base.